episode four of season 11 of the North Star Show. I'm your host, Bruce Krentz. Got a haircut today. Ooh. I want to say it's for the show, but I'm actually going to a wedding on the weekend, so I thought I'd better, better tighten it up a little bit for the wedding. It's probably a good, the best idea. I think so. But it was nice that it fell on the show day. Uh, behind the camera, a guy who has now pretty much done it all, bucket list. He did play, uh, sorry, did color for the game on Saturday. It's pretty good. I know. Not a lot of guys move from behind the camera out in front of the camera and do as good a job as he does. So pretty, no. pretty, pretty spectacular. Uh, if only he does play by play, then it's the grand salami, the grand slam of Shaw jobs. But they'll have to give him a raise so they won't let him do it. Oh, maybe they will. Who knows? <laughs> He's worth it. Paul Anderson behind the camera. I'm back with Caden Nichapork. Caden's call. No, niche picks. I like niche, niche picks better. And uh, my mom thought the show last week was the best one we've ever done, uh, not including the ones that BK was on. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the other BK. But otherwise, it was pretty good. Gage was excellent. And uh, both those guys were, were top shelf last week. So that was good. Uh, who should we get on this week? Uh, we should do uh, Maddox Long and Dalen Monia. Speaking of the Grand Slam, speaking of the full house, that'll get all the longs out of the way. Yeah, that will be. That will, yeah. <laughs> and then we don't have to do that again until probably after Christmas, so that's good. Uh, when we get Maddox on, what should we ask him? Uh, I think we should ask him about uh, what it's like having a younger brother on the team. I think that would be a pretty good question for him. Yeah, I think so, especially just because they're just that far apart. They never actually played that much together, yeah. so uh, other than the outdoor rink. Uh, and then Dalen, what are we going to hit him with? Uh, I think we should do uh, what's it like being a part of this team, like uh, especially growing up in Thompson, probably watching watching him lots. So. I like, yeah, for sure. Those guys live at the rink, right? So he's, this is, uh, it's got to be a big one for him. I like those ones. Uh, we're going to talk to Coach Ryan Stewart right after this, right here on the North Star Show. Coach Stewart's back with us this weekend. Coach, a little bit of a Blue Jays-esque weekend on Saturday. Had a bit of a lead and then uh, slipped away. Not quite what the Jays did. That was ugly. Not as bad as the Leafs either. <laughs> true, true story. Some thoughts on the game on Saturday, though? Uh, we knew we were playing a really, really good team, strong team. Um, you know, they, they, we weathered the storm there a little bit in the first packs and held us in. And then uh, we landed up getting a couple, you know, had the two nothing lead, extended it to three one and let it slip in the third, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, and like you say, you'd say let it slip, but you know, they're a really strong team. They were going to come out swinging in the third period. Were you impressed with the way the guys played? Yeah. I mean, we are playing, they were, we're playing a better team and it's, it's tough. Right. And, uh, you know, the, the team's coming back on you. You, you don't know how the bench is going to handle it, but the bench was good and they were confident and, you know, things didn't play out properly, but, uh, the, the, the team was confident in the way they played. So that was nice. Yeah. Sunday, not so good, but again, you knew that you were going to have your hands full this weekend. Any of the guys that impressed you, uh, on the weekend, nice to have Lazarus out. Yeah, Laz Constant came from uh, OCN there, so he joined the club and an immediate impact. You know, he had two goals and an assist on Saturday and scored the lone goal Sunday. And and just a positive voice on the bench and in the room, so. Well, nice to have that experience and nice to have a uh, good guy show up at the door and gives everybody a little boost. Yeah, you could. there was a different vibe in the room as soon as he showed up, for sure. Which is which is fantastic. Uh, anybody else that you thought sort of showed up uh, this weekend? I noticed Monius was on the score sheet. A couple of assists. Nice to have him going. Uh, there's a bunch of guys that got a couple singles here and there. I think uh, Dalen had a goal there. I think Prime might have had a couple assists. Reed had a goal to one. Uh, I thought Isaac had a strong game in the back end. Uh, you know, Paxton had a, a fairly decent game Saturday. You know, it all said. So... And we've got Valet Night coming up, Parkland's in town this weekend. So hopefully we get a uh, big crowd, big cheers, and uh, we can beat up on them. What are we going to be working on at practice? Uh, a lot of the same, you know, <laughs> lots of competes and, and just a one-touch passing. Lot, you know, you watch those games Saturday, Sunday, and Brandon, their passing is just, it, it's fantastic. And ours, not so much. So it's something you got to work on every week and just get better at. 
just get going well and I mean it feels like it's picked up even the last couple of weeks we were watching practice and we always see the the nights that Justin runs practice but you can tell the guys are picking it up and you guys run some pretty high tempo practices is that part of the, obviously that's the plan is to get the guys moving that speed all the time yeah when Justin comes out we have him focus on the, the power play groups and uh, and lots of small skilled stuff whether it be just quick shooting quick passing and then when he's not around it's more of our system days or our basic our basic you know basic hockey uh makeup i guess you'd say yeah for sure no it looks it looks like we're getting somewhere hopefully we get parkland this weekend we want a huge crowd for valet night on saturday thanks coach thanks hi my name is isaac catchway i'm number 23 i'm a d hometown is thompson manitoba i went to deerwood elementary favorite pregame meal is probably moose meat Save the best for last in the family. Maddox Long joining me. Returning player, Maddox, the first one we ask everybody is always, what's it like coming back this year? What's different? Uh, I feel like I have a lot more confidence in the games. And then, I don't know, I feel like passing helps and shooting the puck more because you don't got to be so nervous about messing something up. <laughs> you feel like your spot's a little bit safer. Um, I'm, and I'm guessing from having played a little bit, uh, nice to probably get a little bit more ice time and get your confidence going. Who are some of the guys that you've been playing with a lot this year? Um, last weekend I played with Laz and Prime, and I've kind of been rotating with like Tommy on center. And then I guess I played a weekend with Dalen and Cash. Oh, nice to play with Cash. Uh, Laz comes up too from OCN, and you get a chance to play with him on the weekend. That must have been pretty fun playing with him in Prime. Yeah, it was pretty fun. He's a good guy to look for because he can score. <laughs> <laughs> Any memorable moments? Uh, talk us through one of the one of the best plays of the weekend. Um, he came around like the circle, just screaming at me to chip it, and I just gave him a good chip off the glass, and he got a beauty and scored. That's how you do it. That's that's instant chemistry. It's beautiful. Uh, what uh, did you do for the summer? What? Um, we went to Minnesota and hung out with some family friends down there. And then I guess that was really it. Went to Winnipeg, I guess. Ever been to Minnesota before? No, that was the first time. Me too. And you know what? I was surprised for some reason in my mind, Minnesota wasn't very nice. I don't know why I thought that. Maybe just, you know, it's, it's the States. I hadn't really been there. Yeah. It's pretty, it's just beautiful. Downtown's a little scary, it seems, in Minneapolis. But like, we're at some lake. Oh, I can't remember the name. <laughs> yeah. We'll call it Lake Minneapolis. Sure. <laughs> big, some big highways down there too, like seven lanes, eight lanes. It's crazy when we're very big. Yeah pretty nuts do you uh, bouncing back to the hockey stuff do you have any goals for this year I know you said you're starting to feel more confident shooting a little bit more any other things that you're working on in your game um I want to get more confident with the puck down low behind the net and then I guess go for a few more goals this year the team could use it that's for sure any thoughts on the past weekend Saturday night good game playing against a really good team Sunday got away on you a little bit but thoughts on the game um I thought we played pretty good but I think if we would have kept going, like in the second game, we probably could have had another close game, but I think we kind of let up after the second. Yeah. And with those guys, you can let up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're pretty good. Uh, and so you got your dad behind the bench. You got your brother who sometimes is playing with you out there. What's it like to have the whole fam around all the time? You never get away from these guys. Um, I kind of liked it on the road last year because I didn't have to deal with some of them. <laughs> but like, I don't know, having cash can be annoying sometimes. Kind of leads us to the niche picks question. You thought we were going to ask you about the sleepwalking. You want to defend yourself at all on that, or it just happens? You can't help. It just happens. <laughs> it is what it is. What's it like living with cash? Um, it's not bad. He can be annoying sometimes. I always ask him to go for rides, and always wants to go to McDonald's. But <laughs> I don't know. He's kind of can be annoying. That's what brothers are all about. But in the end, you got his back. I'm sure. Yeah, I guess. What's his McDonald's order? What's yours? Oh, he gets like six chicken nuggets a large fry like a smoothie and then like a large coke as well and then i think i get like a mcdouble and like a drink like a milkshake milkshake and a large coke fantastic <laughs> maddox <laughs> maddox long returning player uh, we'll get some goals and uh, best of luck at valet night this weekend thanks a lot Meet a rookie, it's Dalen Monius. You wouldn't believe the smile that came on your face when we said we were getting you on here. How does it feel, first appearance on the show? Ah, it feels pretty good to be out here, yeah. <laughs> and uh, first question we have, okay, we usually we ask people where they're from, where are you from? Uh, Thompson. And? That's, That's it. Drive. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight, straight up Thompson. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where'd you play last year? Uh, U15 double A, two minors. And uh, this year, now you're U18. How does it feel? What's the difference playing this year? Uh, the speed of the game has ch uh, changed crazy. Uh, you got to make those passes quicker, quicker decisions and all that, yeah. 
And uh, you got on the score sheet a little bit this past weekend. Uh, that must have felt pretty good. Who are you playing with and uh, who do you like playing with this year? Uh, right now I'm playing with Mitch and uh, Cash. Uh, I really like playing with Cash and uh, Maddox. Especially because their dad's the coach, so they get lots of ice time. Yeah. <laughs> Two brothers, they ever fight on the bench? Is it a uh, mess playing with them or not too bad? No, that's all right. That's, that's good. good, yeah. You're the same age as Cash. Have you played with him before? Uh, yeah, I played with him pretty much my whole life. So pretty comfortable? Yeah. I like it. Uh, outside of hockey, what's some of your favorite things to do? Uh, just fishing, basketball. That's about it. Favorite place to fish? Did we catch any beauties this summer? Can you tell us a fish story? Any masters? Uh, no masters, but I like fishing at Wakusco Falls. Some pretty big fish there. Beautiful spot to the falls, the campground. Yeah, it's great out there. Stunning, stunning, yeah. stunning place. Do you have any personal goals for this year? Um, it was score a goal a game, but uh, I don't think that's happening. So just get uh, 10 points probably. That's, that's a pretty pretty good goal. I like the goal a game, but how quickly did that ship sail? Uh, second game, <laughs> you know. Try. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, you'll, maybe you'll get back up to that many goals in, in that many games. Um, Mitch, question, I think. What's it like playing on the North Stars having grown up in Thompson? Uh, it's just, it uh, feels good, you know. Like, I looked up to some of the people, so now a few kids are kind of looking up to me, so it just feels good. And do you feel any, a little bit of responsibility? Have you guys done much with uh, kids? I see, like, you're out here coaching, you're helping out. There's yeah. some of the guys in the jerseys, so I uh, feel pretty good to be able to give back a little bit. Yeah, it feels really good, yeah. You guys done any other things so far this year mostly the coaching uh we went and helped uh there was a 5k and a 1k run that we went and helped out at perfect yeah Dylan Monias, best of luck start scoring some goals you got a, you got a big uh, big goal to uh, to achieve need a rookie hey that's it for episode number four of season 11 of the north star show thanks also to maddox long and uh coach ryan stewart valet night on saturday come on down and cheer out the guys this is the north star show